guys, this is Crafty Cat. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. We are here with another unbagging unboxing video. It's really an unbagging video. This is from Fan Cells. So let's take a look. It says squirrel on the front. So I'm very excited because I love squirrels. I feed the squirrels. I go for a walk at a place called Whitefish Island and I hand feed the squirrels and the chipmunks and the birds. Oh, I love getting new things, don't you? It's just such a nice feeling. Oh, oh, you know what? Fan Cells has been rocking it lately with having things pre-baggied. Look at this. This is nice. It's got a little diamond on it. It says, Handicraft's Wonderful Life. And look, there's even a little paper in here. I really like when they're pre-bagged. All right, so we have some pre-bagged colors with nice big numbers on them right on the baggie. We have our toolkit, our standard toolkit with the green boat, the red wax, and the pink pen. And I've gone back to using the red wax. I'm enjoying it. I stopped using it for a while, but now I'm using it again. You guys tell me what you like. What do you like using? What is your what is the best wax or sticky thing? Oh, I love squirrels. Okay, before we take a better look, let's turn it around. Let me fold it over so we can see it better. I'm so bad at doing this. I don't want to make it too tight because I don't want to put more wrinkles into it. Oh, look how cute! We've got a squirrel in a tree. We've got a squirrel in a tree. This is a super thin canvas. It is almost paper thin. It's so much thinner than the other canvases. All right, tip. As the product is manual drilling method, there may be some missing diamonds. If such a situation occurs, please contact us. We will reply to you within 24 hours until you are satisfied. Okay. Well, I haven't missed any diamonds for a long time, so here is the thumbnail of what it should be looking like. It is item number one, W1449 from Fanzels. It's a 30 by 40 centimeters. And what did I pay for this? Hang on a second. I paid Canadian $5.61 for this little squirrel in a tree. And it looks much nicer in the picture on the computer than it does on here. But sometimes you can't really tell what they're going to look like until you do them. Like in the tree, in the picture, this, there's moss on the tree that's green moss. And the tree is nice and woody. And I bet you it will look really nice when it's done. And um, it's not like a painting picture. This is like an actual photo picture that it was made from. So I'm wondering if they come out better when they're more cartoony than realistic. This is going to be one of the first realistic ones I'm doing where this is actually, it looks like they made it from a photo. Like someone took a photo of a squirrel in a tree and they turned it into a diamond painting is what it looks like. I'll, I'll put a picture here. So that's what it looks like on the website. We'll see how it looks in real life. So there are 20 colors. And one is one, all the way down to nine is nine. I love that so much, you guys. And then 10 to 20 are alphabets, but not in A to Z order, not in alphabetical order, but just there. And their DMC numbers are included. Now, I have heard that the DMCs are great because it's like um, embroidery floss. But with embroidery floss, the DMC number 152 will always be the same color or whatever, like Whatever number they are, they'll be pretty standard. But I found I find that um, with diamond painting, they're not. Sometimes you could call up something from two different diamond paintings, and they're not similar. Because I've had a few diamond paintings, maybe two, where I've run out of drills. And um, I had to match them. And using the DMC didn't help. I just had to go by eye and try to do them. Because they weren't exact. So what do you guys think? Is that right or am I just wrong and not getting that right? Anyway, let me put this down.
How's that? Can you see that if I do that? Yeah, that's good. So I think this is really, really pretty. What do you think? I think it, it, I think it should come out nice. I mean, even if it doesn't come out nice close up, it looks pretty good from for far away like this. And it's got a pretty good stick. The stick, it like, did you see that or did I do that off camera? I couldn't even tell. The stick is good. And the gel field looks, looks fine. Usually it's the darker colors that I have issue with when I'm doing them. But like I said, it's, it's hard to tell what you're going to have trouble with until you're actually doing it. But I like it. I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? So I'm very much looking forward to doing this. I love animals. I love squirrels. Um, right now on my wall, I have a diamond painting of a deer and a chipmunk that I have to take down because it's a winter scene. So I think maybe I'll re replace it with this when it's done. Or I don't know, maybe I'll replace it with one of the ones I've already done. But I do know I want another squirrel on my wall because I'm sad to take the chipmunk down. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me uh, a like. Hit that thumbs up. Or hit that like button, I mean. Give me a thumbs up. I can't even talk anymore. Ah! Sorry, you guys. I'm being a silly. All right. Um, thank you so much for you, those of you who comment. It really means a lot to you. I, I do enjoy hearing from you all. Let me know what you're working on. Do you like squirrels, too? All right. Um, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you. And take care and stay safe. Bye for now, guys.